Snamandas, Namandas, 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 Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this morning's service. My name is Kyle Sale, and along with Karen Yamamoto, we will be chairing this morning's service. Will you please join me in Gosho? Whether it's an hour, a day, or a lifetime, we are spending our precious time on Earth for it. We are literally giving our lives for everything that we do, so it better be worthwhile. Namo Amidabutsu. 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 Will you please rise for the reading of the three treasures led by Sensei Keith? <clears throat> three treasures. Fortunate is it to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Rare is it to encounter the teachings of the Buddha. Now we hear it. If we do not seek the truth of the Dharma in this life, in what life shall we find it? Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken within us our highest aspiration. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of the Dharma and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord, in a life of harmony, in a spirit of universal brotherhood, free from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriads of kalpas, Hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful teaching. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teaching. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. At this time, Reverend Yuki will now read the Shotsky names uh, that the families have submitted from earlier. When your loved one's name is called, please come up in Ashoko. Okay, this is the uh, names I have received. Marlene Itagaki. George Gunji Kashiwagi. Grace Miyamoto. Billy Kazuyoshi Hatano and Yoshimasa Hatano. Yasuko Ikuma. Robert Cummins Emery. Kazuo Kimura. Isam Kobata and Yuki Kobata. Mm -hmm. 
タツコスミダエンタケオヤマサキアもう
の鳥林、日はもなし。
り大王Please rise for the reading of the golden chain, which will be shown on the monitors, led by Reverend Matt, followed by his Dharma talk. Golden chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 You may be seated. Test, 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 test. Oh, okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. All right. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Keep Sandy on her toes, too. See? <laughs> and the camera. Still in there? I put it over here. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'm just giving her a hard time. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Everyone's looking very good. Um, I wanted to talk today about a concept which is kind of difficult to understand and difficult to explain, therefore, um, but it is very important in terms of Buddhism. So it's this idea that the uh, reality that we create in our head doesn't actually exist. So, all right, see if you can kind of stick with me here. So there's definitely something that exists outside of ourselves that we're interacting with, and there is definitely something that is us that is interacting with it. But because of our past experiences, 
and uh, our emotions, because of our feelings, uh, our senses essentially, when we interact with this thing that's external, we create this reality inside our head that kind of looks like what it is, but it's a little bit different. And so it's very key within Buddhism because what we're seeing is not the truth and this reality that we make in our head, we can actually change. So everyone kind of still following me? Okay, all right. I was trying to find like a good uh, real life example that I could pull uh, from to helpfully like try to make this example make a little bit more sense or at least relatable in some way. And the only thing I could come up with had to do with uh, my ex-girlfriend, which I haven't talked about in a while, right? Does everyone remember that? <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about my ex-girlfriend, Kay, who is to protect her identity, a composite of all the serious relationships that I've had, which coincidentally, all of them had a first name that started with the letter K, so you can't differentiate if you actually know who I've dated before. Um, <laughs> so this has to do with her uh, roommates. So and she lived in an apartment, and who these two people also, who are, you know, they're, they're real people, but I'm not using their real names also. So uh, one of them is uh, Lisa, and the other one is Jane. So these are two people living in the apartment with Kay. Uh, Lisa, she was really cool, or at least I thought so. The way she dressed, like her style, it was kind of alternative. It was uh, not, you know, real basic. And so I thought she was really cool because I personally always wanted to look kind of cool, um, but I have no sense of fashion, so it's very hard for me. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, she, she looks so cool. And I expressed this to Kay, and you know, she, she agreed. She said, oh yeah, she does. She looks really cool, and she, the way she dresses, it's really awesome. So uh, we agreed on that. Now her other roommate, Jane, um, I, I'm trying to, trying to say this in like the nicest way. She was, she's kind of frumpy. Like, it looked like her mom still picked out the clothes that she wore. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't so nice. It's a, it's a lot nicer than, than what uh, I said at the time. I was younger, and I wasn't very nice. I was pretty mean. And so uh, Kay, she, she heard what I was saying, and she could kind of see where I was coming from, but she also thought, like, oh, that's really not a nice thing to say. So uh, we, me and, and Kay, we were out for lunch for, for something, uh, you know, just for fun or whatever. And then afterwards, we go back to her apartment. We open the door, and um, it's all Asians living in the apartment, so when you open the door, it's all just shoes, right? Shoes everywhere. So we're taking off our shoes, and I, I look, and I notice, and I see uh, a pair of boots that I have not seen before. And Kate notices me noticing the boots. So she goes, oh, yeah, you like those boots? I was like, uh, yeah, I think so. She's like, yeah, yeah, they're Lisa's boots. Don't they look so cool? And I was like, oh, they're Lisa's boots? Oh, yeah, they're, they're really cool. She goes, aha, I got gotcha. you. They're actually Jane's. And I went, no, <laughs> you tricked me. So she had fooled me into liking some boots that I would have probably thought were lame if I knew otherwise. <laughs> but this is an example of how uh, our reality is shaped by uh, this feelings, these thoughts and everything in our head. So a pair of boots, completely just by itself, just boots. However, I'm projecting my own reality onto them. So whether or not I think that they're cool or they're not so cool based on who I'm, or in this situation, associating these boots with. But it's because of uh, my own experiences, my own reality that I create, that I feel a certain way about these boots. Now, this applies to you know, all of us in terms of what we like and don't like, but uh, if we expand it further, it's all of the experiences that we have, and we actually have some sort of control over it. As Jodo Shinshu Buddhists, we don't believe we ever can like master uh, all of the things that we interact with. However, uh, we do have a way of shifting it a little bit through um, our practice, through the Nembutsu, through understanding uh, our, our own true nature and our relationship to the world. So in the same way as I saw these boots and they went from being cool to not so cool, uh, <laughs> we can all uh, shape our own experiences when something happens to us. Is it something that's good or bad? Is it right or wrong? Is it something that's pleasant or unpleasant? And really, if we can try to uh, shift our mindset, then the suffering that we feel becomes less because we don't see it as something that is necessarily bad for us or something that's suffering for us. And we can change it to something that maybe is pushing us along or something that we need to go through or something that will help us on later in life. 
So uh, I hope that this lesson can help us um, through experiences that we have uh, and change our mindset and end up having, over time, a much happier life. If you could join me in Gashon. Now more meet up with you. Now more meet up with you. Now more meet up with you. Now more meet up with Thanks, Reverend Matt. Um, for our closing gatha already, we're going to, um, <laughs> it'll be farewell on page 96 on your purple service book. Thank you. Please rise. Please put your hands together and join me in Gashon. As the light of a small candle will spread from one to another in succession, so will the light of Buddha's compassion will pass on from one mind to another endlessly. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Namo Amida Butsu. 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 You may be seated. Thank you, Reverend Yuki. Thank you, Reverend Matt, ministers, ministers' assistants. At this time, are there any announcements? Hi, I'm Faith DeCamp. And I'm Erin DeCamp, and we're from Girl Scout Troop 569. We thank you all for our cookie, we thank all of our cookie customers for supporting our troop. Please continue to seek out our 569 Girl Scouts and purchase your favorite cookies while supplies last. We will be selling after church service, and our troop is out of lemonade, trefoils, and caramel delights. And thank you for your support. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Bobby Tanaka with the Buddhist Church of Sacramento Board of Trustees. I have four announcements. Number one, thank you to all who, per who have purchased opportunity drawing tickets. Our first drawing was held last Sunday, and the winning ticket holder was Audrey S. from Sacramento. The next drawing will be held on Sunday, March 31st, after service. The second announcement on Sunday, March 17th, we will hold our annual Spring Ohigan service at 9.30 a.m. Our special guest speaker for this service will be Reverend I. Hironaka. Reverend Hironaka is the resident minister of the Lahaina Honganji Mission. And as you know, the Lahaina Honganji Mission was completely destroyed in the Maui 
fire last August. And Reverend Hironaka's family home on the church property was also destroyed. We are fortunate to have Reverend Hironaka's family also visiting us for our Ohigan service. Please join us in welcoming the Hironaka family to our temple that day. Uh, third, our March Health and Wellness Series to be held um, on Thursday, March 21st, will feature retired insurance agent and former claims adjuster Keith Adachi, whose topic is, I never thought this would happen to me. A recent victim of a fire, house fire, Keith will discuss types of homeowners insurance coverage and policies, how to prepare for unexpected events such as a house fire and what to expect once a claim is filed. To sign up for the Zoom link, please send an email to betswinprograms at buddhistchurch.org. And lastly, um, as a reminder, our Sakram Sakura Matsuri Food and Shopping Fair will be held on Saturday, March 23rd from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. We have vendors from as far away as Hawaii and Texas participating in the shopping fair. And once again, we will feature our grandma's attic booth. The food fair portion of the event will be held from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. or until the food runs out. Pre-orders for food are being accepted now through March 16th. Please see our church website at BuddhistChurch.org to place your order. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you for attending today. And this will conclude this morning's service. You're all invited to offer incense. Thank you very much. <laughs>